In this tutorial, you will learn how to give a chalk and charcoal effect using Adobe Photoshop. For this tutorial, we will be using this particular stock photo over here. We will start by moving to the Image tab on the top, move to Mode, and select the Gray Scale option. With that done, a pop-up window will appear on the screen, asking you whether you want to discard the color information or not. Over here, simply click on Discard. Now you can pick up the Lasso tool from the toolbar towards the left side of the screen and zoom into the image. Over here, we will make a rough selection of the boat. With that done, right-click on the selection made and choose the Select Inverse option. This will inverse the selection that we made previously. Now that we have a selection of the background, go to the Select menu at the top, move to Modify, and click on the Feather option. Over here, we will set the feather radius to 8 pixels. Now we will start adding filters to the image. To do this, go into the Filter menu on top, move to Stylize, and click on the Wind option. Over here, we will set the direction from the right and keep the default value for the method, which is wind. With that done, click on OK. Next, we will repeat this step, but this time we will change the direction of the filter to from the left. Now let's head back to the filter menu. Move to Other and select the Minimum option. In the pop-up window, we will set the radius as 2 pixels. This will add a very light blur effect to the image. The last filter we will be adding here is the chalk and charcoal effect. For that, move to the filter menu and open up the filter gallery. Over here, let's zoom out of the image a bit so that we can clearly see the effect on the overall image. Within the sketch section over here, you will have the chalk and charcoal effect. Select that option, and towards the right, you will have three key components of the effect. Over here, we will change the chalk area and the stroke pressure options. Adjusting these two options will redraw the highlights and midtones in the image with a solid midtone gray background. Therefore, we have set the chalk area to 10 and stroke pressure to 2. The values can vary according to the image you are working on. You can experiment with different values over here to see what looks better. Now that we have given the chalk and charcoal effect to the background, we will give the boat the same effect as well. For that, select the lasso tool once again, right click, and click on the Select Invert option. Now let's open up the filter gallery once more. Over here on the settings panel, we will reduce the stroke pressure to 1 and increase the chalk area to 12. This is so the boat can blend well with the background. With that done, let's deselect the selection and our chalk and charcoal effect is complete. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.